It looks like these clouds, the depth of these clouds are so large that we uh, can even reach out and touch them. 78 degrees is the current temperature right now in Birmingham. We do have a feels like condition of about 79, but south wind at 14 miles per hour that continues to keep those temperatures pretty modest. Now, check this out. We've sectioned out the day pretty much every three hours, so it'll be warm 80s. Most spots remain dry even as the kiddos get off the bus stop at 85 degrees too, but some storms will begin to approach their northwest Alabama counties as we head towards 6 p.m. And so if you are heading out to the ballpark, it's going to be warm, but I think most of the games will get uh, the uh, green flag, so to speak. Temperatures are just about 80 degrees pretty much everywhere across central Alabama right now. And if it wasn't for the cloud cover and that south wind, likely our temperatures would be a little bit warmer right now. 80s in Jackson, Mississippi and 60s in portions and 50s uh, bordering areas of Mississippi, Arkansas and Louisiana. So the temperatures are going to certainly become a lot more modest in the next 24 to 36 hours. Let's zoom in just a bit. You can see increase in clouds. They do hold a lot more humidity because the winds are straight up from south. And so we're seeing a lot more uh, onshore flow from the Gulf of Mexico. That's really generating a decent amount of humidity. And with the heating of the day, it is uh, spring in a couple of showers. They're really skinny band through French camp now and our WBTM 30 live Doppler radar is picking up just a few little showers right now. We can zoom in just to the north and west of sections of uh, Double Springs. And so a lot of us will likely just see a rogue shower here and there until we get towards about five or six. So this is your future cast. As we look ahead, notice that the line really doesn't even approach that I-22 corridor until after five o'clock. But if you do have to head up I-22 right around five o'clock in the afternoon, Marion, Winston, Walker County, uh, maybe even portions of Pickens and Lamar, you do need to make some preps. But this heating of the day situation, and as the front uh, gradually starts to progress overnight into areas of East Alabama, it will weaken. And so we'll see maybe a tenth of an inch, possibly a quarter of an inch, and redevelopment as this front uh, develops an area of low pressure on Tuesday. And so Tuesday will actually have uh, a decent amount more rain in East Alabama Then it gets much cooler as well. So the rain chances will mainly impact you. I think if you're getting up early on Tuesday, you may be impacted just a bit by a, a couple of those rain showers, but likely not even enough to uh, water the lawn. You may still have to uh, water those plants yourself. The hourly planner, though, it shows by five o'clock we're still warm, but those rain chances they hold out. Notice they kind of creep in the forecast in between about seven and nine, and then it's mainly hit and miss showers through about seven a.m. Forecast high of 85. There's that southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. The sun goes down at 726 this evening. So if we do have a late day shower today, we'll likely be west of I-65. It's still going to stay pretty dry in East Alabama and sunny too. Uh, much cooler with those showers. Believe it or not, our high temperatures will likely be met in the morning on Tuesday, and then we will just uh, stay in those 